We're just gonna jump right into it. I know what you're asking. Why are you installing coilovers on the car? You haven't even driven it yet. Go drive it. We want to see you drive it. Well, slight issue with that. We are throwing the code P0315. Those who have boosted their Mustang probably are familiar with the code that I'm giving you. We got the PCM back from Roush. We are still having an issue with the crankshaft positioning sensor needs to be relearned. Roush said they can't help us with this. We have to go to a Ford dealership. This is the third day now that I've been trying to get a hold of the service center. I need to get a hold of a service advisor. Long story short, it's been an absolute nightmare. It won't drive the way it's supposed to. We need to take this to a Ford dealership, get the appointment set up. I've left hundreds of emails. No one will get back to me. It's been a nightmare. I don't want to talk about it, but I'm working on it. But while this thing is just bricked, sitting on the lift, our Roush coilovers came in, and we're going to be throwing those in today because we need to get rid of the Mongo stance fitment that we have. We need to get that nice, clean, tight, Fitment. So today we're gonna to be achieving that with our brand new coilovers. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to get the sway bar off. So when we push this down, it's not bound to the other side. You don't have to yell at us like that. Hey guys, it's Calvin's birthday no. on Saturday. He's going to a wedding the day before his birthday. But on Saturday, it's his birthday on Saturday. Don't forget fam, make him feel special. No, it's my birthday. You're one of those people who's like, it's just another day. I've been like that. You don't need to ask me that. You know this. I'm just trying to jump right into it, Teach, and you're preventing me from doing this. All right, I'm filming you jumping into it. With the first left-hand strut out of the car, we're pairing it up next to the Roush one. Now, it looks like with this kit, we're gonna be reusing the top hats, which is something we know how to do. We're gonna use the spring compression tool, and we're gonna compress these springs so it takes off the pressure off the top hat. And we're gonna unbolt those, then we're gonna transfer that over to the new one, do the same thing, tighten it down, put our top hat on, then once that is secure, we will release the spring, and this will be ready to go back in the car. Shout out to the OGs who know how we used to do this. We didn't show the compression step on this coilover, but I'll be sure to do it on the next one. Transfer over our new bushings. Throw them in, Cal. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Just toss her in there. Throw on our new top hat or our reused top hat. Other way, Chief. We are just going to bolt this back down to torque spec. All right, we're just going to bolt this back down, throw it in, and this is done. There's a lot of pressure on stock springs especially. So when you undo the nut on the top hat, this has a tendency to shoot out, and it's really injured people. So our goal here with this tool is to squeeze the spring until to relax this. So when we take this off, it doesn't shoot out at us. Shout out to the back, the old days. <laughs> So now when Calvin takes off that top hat, bolt, those springs are not gonna spring out nearly as much as they would if they weren't compressed. It still might have a little bit of a kickback, which can be kind of startling, but for the most part, you should be okay. So as you saw, there was a little bit of a kick, but it ain't too bad. Now we're gonna go ahead and throw this top hat on the new coilover and start the reinstall process. So that pop was that much compression, and that's how far it could spring out at you. For the rear struts of the car, the first thing you want to do is take out these struts. It's actually super easy. There's just two bolts on the top, two bolts on the bottom, and it actually reminds me of the Ferrari suspension, the front suspension. There isn't like a top hat or you don't have to go from the top. It's actually just from the side of the chassis. So those two bolt out, and then there's just two bolts on the bottom. This whole thing comes out literally all by hand. Now, this is where the more difficult part comes, and what you have to do is you have to remove this spring from the bottom of the bucket. Now, to do that, I'm sure there are a bunch of different ways that what we're actually going to do, essentially lower the the rear subframe side by side. So there is a support bracket for the IRS right here. One, two, three. We're gonna take that out and then we're gonna go ahead and just loosen this rear subframe bolt, lower that. While this is being cradled by the transmission jack, it should lower and we should be able to take the spring out, put the new spring in, throw in our new struts over there and we should be good to go. Hopefully this works. My gosh, dude, I just saw the whole subframe drop from the car. That was scary. You can see the subframe is disconnected. And as Calvin lowers the transmission jack, this spring should loosen up and we should be able to take it out. Honestly, I never thought that this is a method. 
to relieve the subframe from the body. Yeah, I mean, I guess as long as it lines up back, yeah, and it should because the other side is bolted in, it should go in super easy. Yeah, because technically the alignment is to the subframe, not the car. Yeah, so it's an easy way to do it. Without messing up your alignment, I still have to get it super high up. <laughs> so we actually uh, disconnected this brake line because it was pulling just a little bit, but it's super easy. It's just a 10 mil bracket on that. We're just gonna throw that back in and all should be set. Basic suspension procedure. The strut is going in now. For the Mustang, there's two bolts down there as you just saw TJ do up. And then there's two bolts at the top where the top hat is. At the moment, he's using the jack to get it up to position to stick the bolts in and then he's just gonna shoot them with the gun or tighten down with the impact gun. It's important to do the top last because there's variable movement in the top hat. So I just did the bottom ones loosely, then got the jack underneath the disc brake, jacked that up. And there's two like little stems that actually come out of here that is actually cradles the top hat and that actually can help auto adjust it. It's actually pretty smart, really easy for being our rear suspension. Um, once that's in, we can go ahead and drop this. We'll just bolt everything down and we'll throw the wheels on see our massive wheel gut that we probably have. Who knows, we might get lucky. We might roll the dice and we might have a pretty good height, but I'd seriously doubt it. So we're gonna throw everything on. Probably gonna have massive wheel gut. We're gonna have to adjust it. Now we have to remember that it has to settle. So even if it does hit a little bit higher, we're gonna have to let it settle a little bit and roll back and forth. Oh, dude, our front, Pretty dang good. Don't really want to mess with that, but it's probably gonna settle and go a little bit lower. Our rear seems to be pretty high. And the rear is the one that is debatably. We should have sent those. Usually you gotta send the rears. We should roll it back a couple times. We definitely gained some camber out of the rear. Not much, but definitely did a little bit. Maybe actually quite a lot of bit. We just pulled off the Mustang because we are expecting pretty much half of our shipment of our drop that's gonna be coming up in the next month or so. You can actually see that we just kind of cleaned out this room and all the leftover stuff we had here, it moved over here. So this is all of our like last minimal inventory that we have of the last couple of drops. Literally probably only like 500 units or less sitting right here. And we have about 2000 units coming in today. So I'm just gonna collect all these boxes and store them all here and I'll let the girls come in tomorrow and start packaging and shelving and organizing everything. I believe in a week from today, we're going to have this whole entire wall blown out. Finally, I've been telling you guys about that. And we're going to open up this space so we can do all of our fulfillment out of here. Right now, I'm just staying posted. I'm watching and waiting for our boy to drop off all of our stuff and then we'll pack it up and head home. All right, so we're starting to unload some of it inside the shop right now. Alex just got here with a little mini pickup truck full of boxes, but we're almost almost through the rest of them here. All of our shirts and all of our hoodies. And then what I haven't told you guys yet, we are doing shorts and then we still have swim trunks and we still have our duffel bags that need to come in and our hats and we have a bunch of accessory stuff. And then the tank tops, which you guys have seen briefly in the past, um, there's only 200 of each tank top, but those are all pretty much right here. I'm gonna show you guys uh, these final finished products once we get home. There's a lot of updates I wanna talk to you guys about that I'm really hyped to show you. We'll get a closer look once we get home. All right, so what I wanna set up right now is a 100% Hunco meme review. Now what I mean by that is, I wanna show you guys something that we've been working on, a lot of work behind the scenes to perfect this and to kind of just, you know, for me, building a brand and, and getting involved in that is, is something that I personally love and I've really been working on ways to further develop our quality in every way, shape, or form. And we finally found a formula and recipe that we really like and that we are going with and I wanna show you guys and really give you a representation of what I mean by it and quote unquote, call myself out and call the brand out. Not that it's ever been bad before or we were doing anything wrong, but I wanna show the progress in which we've made. And you guys won't be able to really see this until, well, if you buy it. But what I wanna show here here is this is one of our new t-shirts we have coming out. It's a blank white tee. That's one of the new logos you'll start seeing everywhere. So we have that front and back. What I want to do is show you the quality on this shirt versus our older shirt. So here on the left is our last drop we did. This shirt is a quote unquote cheaper shirt than the one on the left. It isn't bad, it isn't wrong, it's just it costs less to make than this one. We're gonna sell this the same price as what we sold this shirt at, but as you can see, we washed this once so it shrunk just a little bit and you get a little bit of fading, but mainly, you can so you can kind of see through a little bit and you can see the neckline's a little thin. This shirt is just a little bit lighter, it's a little bit uh, stiff and Overall, just doesn't feel like there's much material. Notice how there's no fold here. It's sewn at the top and on the bottom. And over time, sometimes the threads can come out. That's just natural wear of washing it and wearing it. Sometimes threads will come undone. That's just the name of the game. That's just the way that goes. Well, one, the new shirts are much more expensive 
for us to get this than that blank. It's much, much thicker and it's much, much softer. It's very, very soft. And you can notice the neckline is rather large and pretty stiff and thick. You see how wrinkly this one gets because it's so thin versus this one, how it kind of holds its shape a little bit more. It's heavier, it feels much nicer. And also on our clip tag, you can notice that it's folded at the top, which will always ensure that these sew on straight and it's double stitched, which means it will not come apart as easy as our old ones did. And we did it a new inside logo just for detail on that one. But this is the nicest shirt we've ever done. These shirts are just much, much nicer and I really hope that you guys support the next drop because this is something that we are so proud of. This shirt will last you five times as long and will always look brand new. So that's one shirt we did. This is probably my favorite design that we have. It's called the More Money, More Car Parts design. Super, super stoked on this one. So just like the last one, you have a small print on the chest and a big logo on the front. This is the same shirt that I just showed you, just in black. So again, super high quality, super good weight, super good feel, um, but I'll go ahead and show you the back design here. So I think we ordered more of this shirt than any other design just because I think it will be the most popular, but look at how cool that looks. We've been working on this logo for a couple months now. Very simple. It's very sketchy tank vibes, but we gave it our own little twist and threw some car memes at it, but more money, more car parts. That kind of relates back to when I was younger growing up, every money that I got, I was like, sweet, I got more car parts. And I almost counted my money in car parts. I'd be like, okay, I have like a set of coilovers, an exhaust, and a new tune worth of money saved for car parts. So that is where that inspiration came from. It has a print on the front and a print on the back. This next design, uh, I'm very, 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 very excited about. It's a little bit more, not edgy, but it's a little bit more out there. We're trying to really branch away from the plain and white, you know, the white and black, plain, simple color blank. So this is an acid washed blue. Now this is actually a different material than the last t-shirt I showed you. And it is a different material just because to get this effect, you couldn't do it on that thick of a t-shirt. But this is our most recent design that I showed you guys on our tank tops and that is the sunset and race cars blank tee. You'll notice you look up close, it kind of has like an acid washed type of look to it. We have two tank tops in green and in black that kind of have the same effect. Uh, this on the front with a small little Hunco brand tag on the back. As you can see the big yellow one here, this is a mid-weight hoodie, meaning that it is not the heaviest, but it's not the lightest, it's right in the middle. As we kind of are breaching in the summer, you can kind of still wear this um, and it will last you all the way throughout. So this is our new logo, but we did a textured botted print on it. So you'll Crow, so you can kind of see it kind of has that athletic print vibe on it. Um, that reminds me of like old athletic shorts. Really simple, really good color. Looks great in person, looks great on camera. And we also did a small print over here on the sleeve, or I shouldn't say print. We actually did a small embroidery. All of our sweatshirts are going to have this this year. On the left sleeve, you're going to have a small Hunco uh, embroidered logo as branding on the left sleeve. So just like the more money, more car parts that you guys saw in black, we are also offering this in a highly required requested bring back. Years ago, we did a white sweatshirt and I'm happy to announce that if we can get this camera to focus, I can show you that we are finally bringing that back. So we have a more money, more car parts sweatshirt in white with a red print on the front and a bright red print on the back. This is that real steezy look. And of course, like I promised you guys, we are doing an embroidered logo on the front left sleeve. Last but not least, for those who like it a little more clean, a little more simple, not as loud. We have a black. These are all through the same hoodie, by the way. We have a black version with the sunset and race cars in a gold font with, again, the gold embroidery on the left sleeve. So these are the three new sweatshirts, three new t-shirts that we have coming up. And in my closet, I think I have one of them here that's not in the washing machine. Here is an example of the black tank top and that black stone wash with the hunt wing design on it. Super clean, super simple. As you guys heard me say, we also have shorts coming in, bathing suits coming in, our duffel bags, our phone cases, our sunglasses, our lanyards, our stickers, so much stuff y'all aren't even ready. This stuff won't honestly be dropped probably about another month or so. We still have to do all of our advertising. Um, we need to expand the Hunt Co. room so it's ready to ship all this stuff. But we're making moves, we're trying to expand and I'm really putting a lot more of my time behind the scenes into the brand and I have some major, major, major announcements coming up with all this. So I know I just did a lot of talking about this stuff, but I really hope you guys are watching this because this is something that I am super, super passionate about and I honestly just love doing this. If you made it this far, comment down below which sweatshirt or t-shirt was your favorite item beneath. Leave your feedback because your feedback honestly shapes what we do next. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and keep 
moving forward.